Hey again, welcome to the CNC programming course. In that course, we're gonna talk about how can we handle and some pocket operation like this. We can see actually some rectangle here. This is my workpiece, and we can see this some pocket operation here and here, here and here. So how can we create our and helical and pocket operation for that part? Okay, when we turn to and one pocket operation, I created some main program here this is my metric unit this is my cancellation and this is my reference point and then this is my tool change and this is my first pocket and the center that point i am on the, that point right now and then actually we can see the some spindle speed it's already calculated by using the, our cutting speed formula we just need to divide our cutting speed with tool diameter and then we need to multiply with that 318 and then we can get our spindle speed and then actually we need to multiply with that part number of teeth and our feed rate okay and then when we turn to our and the programming approach this is my spindle speed and then this is my retract position after that we can call actually my first sub program this is my first sub program actually and then we are absolute coordinate system here and then according to absolute coordinate system we can reach z position 0 with feed rate 1000 and then we can turn to incremental system clockwise circular interpolation and we can create our leading options this is my leading options this is clockwise side and then we can call our helical operation and four time here when we turn here this is my and circular interpolation again with z axis minus five and this is my vector actually this is also our and helical and helical process on z axis and then we can turn to 1002 program again after repeating that program four times and then we can go to the and lead out options here and then we can actually go to the and z position minus 20 to our last depth of cut and then we can turn to actually circular interpolation again and then we can go to the and circular interpolation here this is my last part leading process this is my circular interpolation and then we can turn to the and lead out options and then actually we can go to the retract position again and turn to the main program after that i am here right now we can turn to x100 and y and y1 minus 100 here so we are here right now and then we can repeat the same process here and then we can reach the x100 y minus 100 and the last part we can turn to x minus and y minus and then we can call our sub program 1002 and 1003 in the 1002 and then we can go to the reference point and stop our spindle and turn to the actually program stop options okay let's turn to the savant soft and see what we did here actually i created and three program here this is the 3001 and then i can call 3002 here this is my first and sub program and then i can call 3000 this is my last actually and sub program okay let's turn to the main program here and then we can turn to the and memory options and then we can push this and cycle start button and then we're gonna see that this is my actually first step it is done I can run for the second step step down process this is the third one actually and then we can turn to fourth one this is the final step actually and then we can go to the and the last step to make and our 
and the pocket operation. So and then we can reach the and that position. As you can see that x, y, and z axis gonna move in and the same line here. After that process, we're gonna reach the that point, and then we're gonna reach the that point. So, so after that process, we can easily be able to get our and for pocket operation. Okay, this is the actually circular interpolation and sub program example in our course. You can also turn to actually Udemy course in the Udemy course. You can also find that and more information about that kind of and software approach. Okay, and this is actually third one, and this is the last one actually. After that process, we're gonna reach the, our retract position. Okay, this is final step, I think, and then we're gonna reach the retract position and then we can go to the reference point with x and y axis okay this is all about our program like this okay this is the final depth actually you can see here okay we need to finalize our depth of cut here because we are using the helical toolpad like this and then of course we need to finalize our and the depth of cut here. This is and all my pocket operation can be seen like this. Okay. And yeah, I think that's enough. And when we turn to actually presentation here, you can ask me the question by using the dots and information. And then you can also support us by using the MetaMask wallet. And you can also turn to our Udemy course here. This is Udemy course. This is all about macro program, programming and Svansoft simulation approach. And thank you very much. I really appreciated your interest. If you have any question, don't hesitate to ask me a question. I'm here to answer your question. Okay? Thank you very much.